still alive. I didn't kill him yeah. yet. No, it's been a while since we did our shit show. <laughs> no, we've been doing the shit show. We just yeah. haven't been recording it. Yeah. Hope everybody's been doing well. I told Beth we need to make a video because y'all haven't seen me in a while. I know y'all probably have withdrawal symptoms. Hope everybody's doing great. Right around the holiday season, it's starting to warm up. We got Halloween, Thanksgiving, least. I mean, Christmas. <laughs> warm up, you mean temperature wise? Well, starting, no, no, no. Ramp up is what ramp, you mean. Ramp up. <laughs> it is starting to cool down, actually. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel real chilly. Still out there in shorts and a tank top. 70 degrees. Feels good to me. Perfect. Little, little humid, but it's kind of little sprinkly, little rainy today. But not too bad. Yeah, we've been busy with the new puppy. Yeah, it's my baby. He's definitely my dog. He is attached to me. Because you did exactly like you were supposed to do. <laughs> what? Because you did exactly like you were supposed to do. They brought him more. Than the others. <laughs> he follows me around like when I go to work in the office. Most of the time he goes in there with me. Sometimes he doesn't. Um, <clears throat> but in bed at night, most of the time he's laying up against me. Most of the time. Sometimes he lays up against you, but most of the time he lays against me. Yeah, just because you feed him, so he knows you do I feed him. him. Most of, well, you fed him a couple of times. Yeah, I feed him sometimes, too. Usually on the weekend <clears throat> morning, because I try to let best sleep in. It doesn't work, though. We tried it yesterday. He took him out there. Edward took him out there with the other ones. and No, no, no. He left him in the room with me. But Edward left, and he wouldn't stop crying. <laughs> that, that doesn't work. Once he is like... With him, I can tell. Once he's awake, he's ready to be awake. Yeah. And he's ready for breakfast. Yeah. So, he's doing good. He's eating a lot. And I'm worried that I'm overfeeding him. Um, which I don't think I am. But I don't want to overfeed him. I don't want him to be overweight for his age. And end up putting too much strain on his joints. Because then he won't grow properly. Um, but we have his first vet appointment today. Eleven no, well, weeks. He's eleven weeks. doing really good with the house training. They said anywhere between 31 and 50 pounds. Depending oh, that's how much he should weigh? Yeah. For I thought you were looking up how much he should be feeding. Be eating. <laughs> okay. Okay. For 11 to 12 weeks old, anywhere between 31 to 50 pounds. Well, he's definitely gained weight. I have no idea. I, I couldn't even guess, really, how much he weighs. I can yeah. still pick him up, but it's definitely more difficult. Yeah, he's definitely gained. I say he's put on at least 10, maybe more. That would put him about 40. And he still is able to curl up in the bed that we got him. I think it was 20 pounds when we got him, yes. Yeah, so when we brought him home. Yeah, he's, he's definitely in the 30 pound range. Yeah. I think maybe 40. I don't know. But. One of the reasons for us getting him was for Maui to have someone to play with. And actually, they're already playing together. Yeah. It took Maui a while to warm up to him, but they're play buddies now. Yeah. Took him about a week. <laughs> Maybe a little more than a week. Maui's just kind of staying away from him at first, and now they actually, Maui gets on the couch and teases him, and then I'll put him on the couch, and then he'll jump on Maui. And Biting on Maui's jaw. If he gets too rough, though, Maui slings him off. Yeah. Yeah, which, I mean, I think he's learning a lot about his bite pressure from Maui. Yeah, because he hasn't bit me nearly as hard lately. Either. Yeah, I know. And Edward got what he wanted. I do have some, some, some wounds, yeah. some marks. That's exactly what he wanted. 
I don't think I'm going to be as scarred up as you are, but. No, but they still get me every now and then. And Uno is still a grumpy old man. He still doesn't want nothing to do with him. Yeah. But he's handling it better than he did with Maui because now he is he has not started messing in the house. We had a really hard time with him, with Maui, and he started reverting back and forgetting his house training. But he hasn't been doing that with Opie, so that's good. Because Opie is distracting Maui, and Maui's distracting Opie, I think. Yeah. Um, so it's all working out pretty good, I think. Yeah. We just kicked Uno you know, and Maui out of our bed the last two nights because the two or three nights before that, I got no sleep. Because the way Maui was laying... It wasn't his normal laying on my feet, which he, he would do that to both of us. He'd flop up and down on both of us. But what, however he was on my feet <laughs> this night, it was painful. Like, it, I don't know how to describe it. It, it was unbearable for me. I, could, I couldn't. Like, it, it was bad. <laughs> um, so I told Edward, I was like, here's what's going to happen. Those two were going out there in the den to sleep. And as soon as this one, meaning Opie, as soon as he's bigger and fully house trained, he's going out there too. Okay, well, I'm chewing on nothing. Yeah. Well, that's part of the house training. Mickey Maui, he, he didn't really chew on it. He chewed on the cord one time. Yeah. Opie's still got a ways to go yeah. with the chewing, but yeah. he's teething. He's doing good, though, when I, you know, I'm trying to train him with the um, drop it and most of the time he lets go pretty quickly when I when I give him that command but also I distract him with a toy and like do a trade off um, and he's doing good with that too so he definitely is, is very smart um, if I'm not in the room he does like in, the, in our living room he, he does walk into the office to look for me in there. Because <laughs> um, he knows that's where I'm supposed to be. <clears throat> but. You lay in there, sleep on the floor when she's in there. Lay under her feet. And yep. Miss Pete can actually feel like you're touching the ground. Oh, you? stop. My feet touch the ground, but my chair's a lot lower. <laughs> I go in there to you keep it Well, it might be the way out because I'm, like, <laughs> flexing my... Anyway. Then, uh, I've already started on our pins for the Christmas box that we're going to have this year. Yeah. There's only going to be 20. And we'll probably give a heads up before we drop them in the shop. We still got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Because there's going to be two pins in each box. A enabler pin and a you know regular size thick enabler placer yeah enabler placer and a regular thick size pen of ours some other resin pieces there's going to be a rhinestone collection in there um that's just some of our ideas we haven't nailed down anything yet but that's kind of where we're headed um today my steamer came in and I'm really excited about that because hopefully that means I can easily fix these Generation 2 canvases. Because, um, I don't know if everybody that's watching this knows what I'm talking about if they looked at them in the shop. But the way they are packaged and shipped to us, they weren't in individual boxes. So they got squished and crunched and... Which two of the three did. The the one of them, the Octavian, thank God, um, is fine. And I say thank God because that's the one that is tied to an artist. And we are paying her based off of the sales on that one. Um, so thank God those were fine. But the other two, um, they've got some places on them where, yeah, there are some creases in the fabric. but And you can see them on the back side. But on the front side, the glue side... That's that's a non-issue because it's not a problem. But there are some places where I guess it would be like a pucker. 
I don't know if it's technically the same thing with poured glue and double-sided adhesive or not, but I'm calling it a pucker because it's like the clear plastic sheet is flat, but the fabric like got scrunched and it has this little U shape. So there's this empty space like right in here where the fabric is kind of squeezed together some. So it's almost like permanently in that position and I've I have they've been laying flat for like what two months now three months maybe I'm not sure they've been laying flat under a lot of weight but that's not going to get rid of that problem you have to peel back the plastic cover smooth it back out completely make sure the plastic is in, touching every single bit of glue which doing just that part that's what's made me pull the tendons right here in my wrist like i'm in so much pain from that um and i'm going really slow with it because it hurts but um anyway after i put the plastic back down i'm ironing them so and then right after i iron them is when i roll them up package them and send them out with the hopes that doing it that quickly or at least the ironing and then rolling it back up immediately that because they're rolled up while there's the glue is still a little warm it's then going to take on the new corrected shape if that makes sense but if anybody saw mindy's unboxing of the burbs um it didn't fully stay that way with hers so the steamer is hopefully going to be a better option both for helping my wrist pain and for them actually staying fixed. Just in time, babe. I just finished. Tell them about the steamer that came in. Yeah. So that's going yeah. to be my project for tonight. Yeah. And then to work on that. And I have you heard back from any of the other orders? I haven't opened email today. I know we were talking. I did yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yesterday I got. I've got agreements with two more artists now, for two artists and five images. Awesome! And we've got one image already for a Generation Three sent in from the plot that we're working on, but we wanted to get some more images. You know. So we ain't just doing one at a time. So that's awesome. We got show me five images. She showed me a few of this one guy's and his work is beautiful. Yeah. But we still need to, you know, gotta need to buy the rest of what we got that we can have room for new stuff. And that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> we might have to do one at a time yeah. because of storage issues. True. True. We don't have a warehouse, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Well, one at a time is fine, too, you know. You wouldn't have to spend a lot of front for one at a time. Not as much as we were spending for three images. Well, I mean, it's, it'll come out to the same dollar amount. It's just not one lump sum. It's not quite as painful financially. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm seeing people talk about all these um, logistics delays and all these cargo ships and trains yeah. and trucks and stuff being with all these delays well i just seen they've got in california it was on facebook it was one of the news stories on facebook there's like 500 and some cargo ships out there with stuff that are out there and i guess wherever the cargo ships go to in california and they can't come to port yet for some reason i don't know yeah i don't know what's causing that i don't know if they're <laughs> if it's a manpower shortage at the port but what the deal is, I don't know. But we are trying, people. Um, Still, I've already got two different Halloween pins coming out this week. The one with uh, orange and black, like glitter, and then I've got one with Halloween confetti, pumpkins, black cats, and uh, bats. I wonder if the delays are happening with the air cargo, though, because I didn't mention them. Yeah, they didn't. I just know they showed it was a bunch, you know, like the big old bar ships with the big metal containers. I know, honey. I saw it. I just said I saw oh. it. That's the only thing I saw, and that's the only thing they were talking about. It was just in California, but I'm sure, don't they? Have no, like, uh, they're all over. 
I've not heard nothing about because don't they have some like uh, New York, York, Chicago, Virginia, Wait, Norfolk, and Wilmington, I think. I, think got I don't big. know where the big yeah, North cargo North. intakes are. I think Norfolk but. definitely is one because you hear much about Norfolk. Well, it's got military bases there. But regardless, I just, I don't know. We can we can look at doing yeah. air cargo for our product, yeah. but that's a lot more expensive. Yeah. It's, I mean, it could be four to five times as expensive. I'm just excited about Halloween. I mean, the holidays and period. You know, I've been coming up with little Halloween-inspired enabling places with the eyes and stuff. And then, like I said, I wanted to do some bigger pen. I found some orange glitter and some black glitter that we bought forever ago. I was like, well, I need a little Halloween -y together. Beth, I showed Beth the blank. She hadn't seen a finished one yet, and I did do one today. Didn't you think that was kind of Halloween y looking? Orange and black? Yes, always. Then I was thinking maybe I could have put a little purple in there too, or black and purple. Maybe the next one. I don't know. But then we've already got one. I think y'all gonna love, I don't, I'm sure Beth's gonna show a sneak peek for the Christmas boxes. But what's gonna be in them, I, I think y'all gonna love the Christmas box, especially, especially the enabler pen, which I've got a couple, we've already talked about a couple more Christmas type enabler pen, or at least one more. And I'm just trying to think, besides my, uh, Trying to think what I'm going to do from you know November, you know for Thanksgiving besides the maple leaves. We ain't got no turkeys, do we? I got you. I just got me. We're definitely going to have our maple leaves because they were kind of popular last year, around that time with that. I can't remember. I think it was the blue raja. That one that was kind of brownish color shift that I put the maple leaves in. Blue Raja? That's what? what it was called, but it was, it, it, it was called Blue R-A-J-A. -A. But it was, looked more like a, a autumn leaf color. It was more like a lightish brown. Okay. He keeps doing this with his hand. Because I'm a wizard, Harry. But yeah, so that worked out pretty good. So I'm definitely going to do some of those. And of course, the snowflake pins will probably be coming back. I'll probably start making them next month, too. Because it will technically be winter, will it? No, I mean, we just got into fall. Yeah, okay. So winter doesn't start till what, sometime in December? Well... Uh -huh. Do y'all want me to go ahead and start making the snowflake of pins? Of course. <laughs> we'll start, you know, doing those. I will do Halloween ones until, you know, the end of this month. And then, you know, custom, of course, if someone orders a custom Halloween one, I can do a custom Halloween one. Just like I've done some custom snowflake ones here recently. And I did some, you know, I think last summer, I think I did a custom snowflake or two. And I do, yeah, we got some Christmas confetti too, so I'll be able to do some, I think there's some Christmas trees in there. I'm not sure. It's so hard to find confetti sometimes because if it's cut really thin, it's, good, yeah. it's perfect. But the confetti that's which, I mean, you think, oh, gosh, how thick is confetti? I mean, it, it does make a difference when you're talking about the weight of it in resin. Because there's some that are actually thicker pieces. Like, the confetti that's for sprinkling on a table, that doesn't work so good with resin because it's heavy and it sinks. Um, unless you just you do that balancing act of, well, if I wait for the resin to get hot enough... But still get it mixed and poured before it starts to cure and the bubbles get in there. Yeah. You know, it's a dangerous game. That's the problem I've had on a few. I've waited 
like you're supposed to, but by the time I get it mix, them in and mixed and tried to pour, it's already basically kicked and the bubbles don't go out of it. Yeah. We had that problem last year with bubbles in the Halloween pins, but we were like, you know what, that's fine because it looks like it's like a potion, like a cauldron brew or something, so it looked kind of cool. But it's just still not ideal when you're working with resin. And plus, as you turn and you hit one of those bubbles, mm -hmm. they could still be very visible, like on the surface, and, and be a rougher surface but than you want it to The be. confetti that I'm using now, Beth had ordered sometime last year, is a thinner and lighter confetti, and it seemed to work perfect. But it's only pumpkins, baths, and caps. Well, that's from that place in Canada. And that's, I think everything we've got from her has actually worked out pretty good. Yeah, that, that's a good that's a good place. Yeah, and her confetti is pretty light and don't sink that bad. I don't think that these uh, Halloween ones sunk hardly at all. I kind of like that. They looked pretty good in yeah. the blanks. Yeah, and they were spread out nice and evenly, you know, through the whole blank. Getting to this festival of food. Thanksgiving. Um, what are we supposed to do for Thanksgiving this year? I don't know. Eat. Last year for Thanksgiving and Christmas, we, we went the, with the Cracker Barrel meal um, that you pre-order and pick up everything. And it was all delicious, but it was way too much for us. Yeah way too much. We ended up having wasted food. Well, I said it was all delicious. There was some of it that, uh, not really. I didn't care for their sweet potato casserole that came in that. Like the, hash brown casserole. the hash brown casserole was good, but we ended up having so much of that, that left over and we didn't eat it all. Um, we never did eat all the ham. We put some of it in the freezer, but then when we got the new refrigerator, it got thrown out. So, it was, it was too much of a waste. It was delicious, but wasteful, and I don't want to do that again. I sure as hell don't want to cook all that food either. What you want to do? <laughs> Pray for a miracle. We can get our own little ham or a little turkey. Could if we'd have got, we we ate all the turkey, I think. Yeah, I think we did eat all the yeah, turkey. Yeah, we did eat all the turkey because it was only a little turkey breast. It wasn't a big turkey. But that ham was it's huge. huge. <laughs> that was Christmas. <laughs> they had the ham. But I do believe we, we ate most of, I think, the Thanksgiving meal. The stuffing and the... Yeah, their stuffing was really yeah. good, too. But they also got on there, you know... We do something like that again. We can just order from the regular Ooh, menu. Uh, oh, we're going to have to start poking in Cracker Barrel every once in a while because when they have their fried turkey meals, we are going. Their fried turkey dinner is so good. I love it. I love it. We went, last time we went was uh, what, a couple weeks ago. And we yeah. got the new break. But, well, it was, more it like was a brunch. Bread. Well, I think we said it in a video, but I don't remember if I ever posted that video. Yeah, the I hamburger steak, I think it was scrambled eggs and hash brown casserole. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. The hamburger steak, it and it had so gravy good. and onions. Yeah. And then, yeah, like you said, eggs and hash brown casserole. It was, oh, man. We're Southern. We love us some hamburger steaks. <laughs> I was kind of shocked because I don't think, as long as we've been going there, I've never seen hamburger steak on their menu. I've seen that. The menu looked a little altered. Yeah. I've seen that. I we got to try that. I forgot what it was called. Uncle Summers, I think. But it, it was good. And the hash brown casserole. I just love the hash brown casserole. I could just make a meal out of that. And your smoked sausage patties. <laughs> Oh, wait, they, we got grits. Yeah, I got grits. Oh, the grits and so biscuits. Good. Man, I could tear up their biscuits now. Well, maybe uh, cause the way Farmer and the Dale is doing now, maybe they'll have something that we can get something from them. Uh, maybe. Whenever they're coming back to Goldsboro, we're we'll definitely ordering something from them. And if they, it's good. Well, we've only had the breakfast, but now this, it's a little like mom and pop place. They usually they do it in their backyard, 
the gears. Where they are now is not the original place. No, no, the original one burnt down. And then they built this place behind their house. It's big. <laughs> it's big. And they also do like cake decorating, uh, cookie decorating classes there. And, but they started doing lunch and dinner. For the longest time, they only did breakfast. And we went one time and it was so good. Biscuit bombs. Biscuit bombs and grit bowls. Yeah, the grit bowls. I had that leftover bacon in the refrigerator. I was thinking about using that to make grit bowls. Yeah, and it was so good, but we haven't been back since because it's kind of a drive. It's a drive, and you have to. You need to get there early, or you're going to be waiting in line yeah. for quite a while. But now they're doing pre-orders since they started the dinner, serving dinner and stuff. Where yeah, they you actually, do pre-order, and they drive to different cities yeah, to drive, deliver yeah. it. We well, just, you, they tell you where they're going to be, and you have to go pick it up. Yeah, you have to go pick it up, yeah. We didn't do this last one because we weren't sure if that was the day we were going to be able to go get Opie or not. Yeah. But next time we will. Just well, and the timing of it was we Kendall needed to be picked up from yeah. school. We're, we're back. Gonna... He agreed to let me go. I did. <laughs> well, that's good because I didn't ask for permission. As long as I can get my vacation. You'll get your vacation sometime. Then when I get my vacation, when she's sprinkling my ashes on me. Well, if you want to be scattered after you're dead, that's fine. But you got to let me know for sure you want to be cremated or not. I can't, can't you want to be buried in a glass coffin again with Nicky on top of you, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. New bed cock furniture coming soon. Winter 2021. Yeah, that's the store that Maritza likes. <clears throat> bad cock. <laughs> she did a whole video talking about it. Well, not a whole video, but she talked about it in a video. But yeah, we are doing pretty good. Same pretty good. Oh, I hope everything keeps going good. <laughs> good, good, good. He's just taking out the brine right now. about this this big vacation which no matter what I'm gonna be anxious about it yeah so this will be well not my I don't know is it my this is like my first time planning a vacation yeah. like as an adult <laughs> without another group of adults, if that makes sense. I mean, we had our honeymoon, but I don't really count that because we had to get to the cruise ship, get on the cruise ship, get off the cruise ship, drive home. That doesn't, I mean, that doesn't count. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I mean, you did the planning on this, really, so. Because yeah. we all know by now I'm not in charge of vacations anymore. Where you're concerned. <laughs> That's why I was shocked she decided to go on this retreat because she might end up in South Dakota instead of... That would be <laughs> fine, too. It's just somewhere I've never been. <laughs> How else am I going to get to see this country? But, yeah, I'm trying to, to plan it, but, you see, the hard <laughs> thing is, is they, you know, since Universal and Disney don't have the dining plan now, we're trying, we've got to try to figure out, you know, budget for the... Food. And then we're driving, so we got the budget for gas. And then, you know, you're going to want to get some souvenirs. That's what we're trying to figure out. Which I've, I've aimed high on the food budget, which I think we can probably cut off 
quite a bit of the food budget. Looking at some of the menus. What? What? What did I say? The transaction I selected is not available? Um, excuse me? Oh, then they're not working. <sighs> There's one right there. This looks bad. We got money, I promise. Yeah, we got money. So damn far away from the. I know the other week when we went to the bank, we were going to try to go in and we couldn't go in. They said use the ATMs. Well, the whole system was yeah. down. But there ain't no signs up or nothing. <laughs> I didn't get close enough. See, it's spitting the card right back out, which is not normal. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Very good. Yeah, there must be something wrong with ATMs. Money. Yeah, we got our money. <laughs> I'm trying to tell Beth about I'm in this massive group, and you know, most people say, you know, um, two males or two females they'll fight a lot. So this couple, they got two they're from two different breeds, two different breeders, got a female and a male, and I think they're like at 10, 10 months old, they're almost a year old. But usually, you know, she said that the female usually runs the house and the male usually, you know, bow, bow down to her. You know, and they've never been in any fights before. And I guess last night in bed, the male finally had enough and took a chunk out of the female's nose because she had posted it. She said, is this normal? <laughs> they were like, it just, you know, happens sometimes when they play. they so big, they play rough. Yeah. She was like, but she said that she figured if she got a female and a male, they wouldn't, you know, fight. She said they've never fought, they've played, but they've never got like this. And she said that, you know, she was scared to get in between them. It was so violent. Like I said, it happens sometimes. And like I said, that's just a misconception that, you know, two males are always fight or two females yeah. will fight. It, like I said, if they're raised together, usually, you know, they won't carry each other up too bad. Well, you took a chip out of nose. Oh. 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 
I'm asking for the feet. Uh, yeah, let me see. I want to get the, um, I want to get a double cheeseburger tray. With, um, let me get a corn dog and french fries. Yes, ma'am, what would you like on your burger? Um, let me get, um, lettuce, onion, tomato, um, mustard, ketchup. I'm going to get Cajun fries. Yes, ma'am. What time to drink? Uh, sweet tea, please. All right. What else can I get for you today? Uh, let me get another double burger tray, a cheeseburger, double cheeseburger with, Ket what do you want on it? Ketchup, mustard, pickles, and mayonnaise. With ketchup, mustard, pickles, and mayo. With a corn dog and... All right. Size me a drink. Corn dog and, uh... Corn dog and Cajun fries, like you would and Cajun cake. fries on that one and, too, and a Coke with a Coke to drink. Right, else for you? I want to get a shake. Um, let me try an Oreo mint shake. Yes, ma'am. Anything else for you? Do you want a shake? Yeah. No, nope, that'll do it. I right, so it's seventeen thirty-seven. I put. Thank you. What? I have to wait. <laughs> that was a little loud, but oh my god. Okay, so we're at cookout. Great food, but there's shakes. Oh my god. I remember it took forever for our city to get one. I had to drive like 30 minutes to the nearest one, and I did one time just for a shake. Peanut butter banana shake. Oh my god. But I said, saw that Oreo mint. Gotta try it. Cookout. They have barbecue. Mm -hmm. Brian said the barbecue. It is. Good. I've never tried it. It is. It is really, really good. Everything I've had here has been really good. Yeah, I ate a bowl of cereal this morning, but that's all I've had. I'm getting, getting hungry. Uh, yes, please. Mm. Oh, what? Oh, you mint. Thank you. Josh, we can set that in the cup holder. I guess. I think that'll do it. Thank you so much. You too. Oh man. Cajun fries smell good. That's all I can smell, but oh man. when we were actually going into the building, into the office to work at my old job. Every once in a while we would come here, grab some food, and then right up here at the end of this little street is a park. And we'd go sit at one of the tables at the park and eat our lunch and go back to the office. That was nice. Doing that. There was, last I had heard while I was still working there, they were talking about going back to work at the offices this month. I don't know if they're doing that yet or not. I don't think so. I haven't seen anybody talking about it at all or anything. I think, I think, I think, I think. 
gentleman had posted a picture that looked like she was in the office. Well, she's in a different department now. Oh. I haven't talked to her in forever. Which I was kind of worried that that was going to happen. Eventually, you know, once when we were all sent home to work. Yeah. And then she went and, you know, got a better job with a different department, you know. Which I'm totally happy for her. But as soon as something like that happens, usually on top of already not being physically in the same building yeah. for so long. Which, I mean, friendships change over time. Which I know I've got a big problem because I don't, I don't like to go anywhere and do anything. Like, I'm, I'm very... Which is going to be interesting at the retreat because I'm so socially awkward. I don't like to go and do things. And, and it's, I don't know, it's weird. And I know that puts a strain on my friendships. I really don't have that many anymore. That's so sad. But it is what it is, you know. Basically the same. I like to get out and do stuff, but I'm not. You know, don't have many friends around here. Yeah. How about you? You want me to stop? No, you can. I am just I'm about to stop him. I guess this jackass that now he's a turn signal. Sorry. Stop seeing all the green dogs. I would like my corn dog. Because it's going to take a while to cool off. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's hot. I love a good corn dog. Okay, well, we're good. you want to do a food review? How's the Cajun fries? It looks like they just regular fries and they threw on some seasoning salt but yeah. they smell good. Had a good like I said just like they threw on some Cajun seasoning salt on regular fries. Been watching um, Little Women of Atlanta, and I gotta catch you up on what's been happening. <laughs> the episodes I watched this morning. So the one twin um, that's already got the two kids, she's pregnant again. Well, the yep, and they've moved back to Atlanta. What else? Uh, that's basically, that's the biggest thing right now. The other one that you said is really pretty. She's about to have her third baby. And she can't decide who she wants to be with. She's with the other dude right now. Yeah. She keeps hopping back between him and the uh, old boy. You know. You go. Spot. Anyway, we're almost, we got like another season and a half of 
my big, fat, fabulous wife with Miss Whitney. She's here in North Carolina. She's in, well, Charlotte, Greensboro area. She's back in Greensboro now. Oh, well, by now. Where we are in the timeline, she's still in Charlotte. But, um, we're enjoying watching that, too. That's like our nighttime routine, watching those two shows. We got to watch Squid Game because I'm, I'm chomping at the bit. We should have watched it Sunday, but I know I took the day to keep to myself and just diamond paint, and I enjoyed that a lot. Isn't Squid Game a show, though? I think so. I think it's a series, yeah. but the way they ended it, apparently they left it open for another season. But and I did watch a little a YouTube video giving spoilers, so I know some of the info. I don't know why I do that to myself, but I kind of like to know what's going to happen. I was talking with Abigail the other day, and we were talking about how. Uh, you know, we can rewatch the same things over and over again, how that drives you crazy. But she's like me. We watch, we can watch the same things over and over and over. And she's right. It, it has to do with our anxiety because we know what's going to happen already. So we find comfort in rewatching the same things. And that makes total sense. Um, I can rewatch it if I haven't watched something in a while. Oh, I finish a series and start it right back yeah. over again. Yeah. Which, it's also funny because sometimes I don't want to watch the last episode or two because I don't want it to end. You know, I'll just start it back over at the beginning. Not watch that final, you know. Which I restarted watching Sons of Anarchy a long time ago. But never, like, for whatever reason, I stopped watching it haven't gone back to its ends. And, and I know it's because it's right at the episode where Tara dies. Yeah. Sorry if you haven't seen it. And I just ruined that for you. But yeah, it's right at, around that time. And that's where I stopped watching it. But I mean, that's a show. There's so many time or storylines in it. It's easy to, to pick up and, and see things that you didn't see before. That, I feel the same way with The Walking Dead. That's why I can watch that one over and over and over. I don't really like season three, so I don't watch it too much. I, I really think it went downhill after Carl died, to me. Some of it was still interesting. And then Rick left, I kind of... I was super excited when I saw that Netflix finally had the season with Princess in it. I can't remember which season that, season that was. Well, it's not the most recent no, no. One, it's like from a year ago. Yeah. Because it takes them like a year to get it. But um, I was super excited when I saw that on there. So, of course, I watched it. Um, and I binge watched it. So now I'm sad because I don't have episodes to watch. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. It's just shows like that I really, really like. And I've tried watching new shows that I've, you know, well, not new shows, new to me shows that I've heard so much about. Like, people are like, oh, man, this show's great. You gotta watch it. And I just don't get into it. Like, somebody, or a couple of people are actually really pumping up, like, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, I, I tried, and I'm like, no, this is horrible. Like, I don't get it. Yeah. Um, and see, I'm scared to try to watch The Office. Because several people have said how great that show is, and I'm scared that I'm not going to like it. I'm trying to watch it after that. I didn't get it that either. Because they, they're, they're like, it's either you like The Office or Parks and Rec. I love Parks and Rec. Yeah. I wish we could watch that. Because <laughs> that's a show we could... I mean, there's so many jokes in there. That's kind of what it... Gotta watch it several times. Yeah, that's kind of what it reminds me a lot of is a generic Parks and Rec. I guess that's why it really... Well, it's, it has to do with the way that the the acting is done, and then the way that they break that. I think they call it breaking the fourth wall or something. I don't know. It's where they look directly into the camera. You're not supposed to do that, 
but in those shows, they do. They acknowledge the camera yeah, is there. I can, I can rewatch Park and Rec again, just like I can rewatch Big Bang. I remember we tried. We started rewatching Parks and Rec right before it got taken off of was it Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Oh, yeah. Thing with Netflix. And now it's on, I think it's on that Peacock streaming service. Yeah. So it's like they're taking all the shows and putting them on all these separate streaming services. And it's like, dude, I can't, I can't watch all these. Yeah, I can't afford all the things. <laughs> no. But HBO Max did get me and I did break down and get it so we could see Big Bang Theory. Yeah. That's another one I want to start over again. Yeah. We went through that one fast. I can watch that again too. Just like comedies like that, I can rewatch. And plus, like so many seasons of it, by the time you get to the last season. Yeah, like, but when we were watching seven or eight episodes every night, yeah. it doesn't take long. I don't know. Are y'all a, a binge watcher, or do you just every once in a while catch up on episodes? I will say, everybody kept talking about hunting the hill house i finally watched that then i've been watched by manor last weekend so i reckon i'll watch midnight yeah, mass this weekend that's what you were doing while i was in there diamond painting yeah that midnight mass i've seen people talking about on instagram yeah, that's the guy that did hunting the hill house of Bly manor's third show yeah. so it is supposed to be like scary or suspenseful because I was thinking it might be something I could watch, but if it's... Yeah, you can watch both of them. The Haunted Hills wasn't scary, neither was Bly Manor. Bly Manor was more of a love story. Yeah, it had a... You know how much of a chicken I am, so... It, it was just... To me, yeah. Okay. It wasn't that Well, scary. I can try them. The Haunting of Hill House was kind of scary, but it really didn't show me. It was mostly jump scares here and there. Well, I remember I did watch about a few minutes of that one, and it was that man, that that scary-looking dude that was, like, yeah. moving across the floor, but he was floating, yeah. and he was, like, haunting the boy yeah. or whatever. That was, that was about it. The scare factor. Well, that was creepy enough. But Brian Manor wasn't scary at all. Well, it, it, it had some scary people in it, some, like, ghosts, but it wasn't, you know, scary, scary. Anyway. But they weren't trying to hurt nobody. Maybe I need to do reaction videos since it's spooky season. I need to put on the all these scary movies and just turn off the, the sound. And y'all just get like my reactions to them or something. Because they'll be short videos because I'll have to turn them off. Or two. I, I won't be able to watch too much of them. No. A couple of years ago I did, I did myself proud. I did watch some of the... Um, Friday the 13th. Was it Friday the 13th, maybe? Yeah. The, no, the, what, the one with Michael Myers. Halloween. Halloween. Okay, Halloween, yeah. I did watch the some of those. I didn't watch all of them. Why is that third movie even in there? That movie's dumb as hell. The Season the of the, the Witch. Mask, yeah, yeah. The mask, yeah. That's so dumb. Because John Carter had planned on ending it after the second movie, then it did so good they wanted to make a third one so he just well it didn't work well that's why they brought Michael Meyer back but now now it's like okay he's been what he's had his head chopped off he's been frozen or blown up thrown into outer space I mean I don't even know okay. how many times this man hit, okay well no Michael Myers had his head cut off too but he wasn't thrown into outer space or was that space. Jason I don't even know but anyway how, how many times is this dude gonna get killed Got his ass beat by Buster Rhymes. <laughs> That's when everybody was like, yeah, they need to stop making Halloween. We had Buster Rhymes beat them in a fair up fight. <laughs> With his Buster's Kung Fu. We, I was on, what was I on the other day? Was I on HBO Max? But I saw that um, House of Wax was somewhere. Yes. I remember talking about that one. Yeah. I think I was asking Kendall about it. That one is, oh man, it's, ugh. I get yeah. the heaps. Yeah, me and Kendall watched it. It was all right. She said she hadn't seen it. She watched it with me. I just don't remember. Yeah. 
Alright then. How's that burger? He's over there stuffing his face. I'm over here starving. Didn't even offer me a french fry. No thank you. I'll just eat my cold ass fries when I get to the house. Dude. You can't get me out of my bag. <laughs> talk to you guys next time. I'll try to make sure I put this one up. Don't forget to flush. Mm -hmm.